Hello, everybody, and welcome to Steelwing 33 Place XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Steelwing 33, and today, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be playing on Veteran. Um, we are going to reduce beginner VOs, and we're going to show subtitles as well. Uh, what is this? Beta Strike. Greatly increased HP of most units for longer tactical engagements. Start at Reaper HQ. Okay, I don't know what any of these mean, so we will ignore them. Um, we're going to do the tutorial, um, just so that way... I guess I don't need to do the tutorial. Uh, if you've never played XCOM 2 before, uh, I do not need the tutorial, so we are going to disable it. Um, yeah, so welcome to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Uh, I'm going to do this without Iron Man in order to keep myself um, perhaps uh, less upset about everything in my life. Um, do I not have... Oh, can we not do these? We not do these during War of the Chosen. We might not be able to do them during War of the Chosen. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll deal with it. If you've never played XCOM 2 before, it's highly recommended you experience the tutorials. It provides a strong narrative and gameplay introduction for players of all levels. Which would like to enable this experience. You know what? Yes, fine. We will do it because that's the third time it popped up. I'm, if it's the same tutorial, I'm just gonna be ups I'm gonna be upset. But that's okay. We're in. It is the same tutorial. But I don't know for how long. You seeing this? Way too much security, even for Advent. That's no ordinary gene therapy clinic. They were telling the truth. Or they're leading us into a trap. A really obvious trap. We'd need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outrider, this is central. Go. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, so this is different. Good, I'm, I'm glad we enabled it then, because this is very different. What is that? Some sort of like stealth operative. Timeline you placed upon us, mistakes are bound to happen. It wasn't our fault. Please. There's no need for any of this. I will do what you ask of me. I just need additional time. Did you say something? No. They'll never say anything ever again. One of those. You must understand. I had no choice. Outrider, report. Yo, know, that I love some of these new customizations. So, you do exist. Hey -o. Outrider to Avenger. I have visual confirmation. Are you sure? Reapers are always sure. I'll take your word for it. Cover your tracks and get the hell out of there. They can't know we were here. Yet. Understood. Now the real war begins. Sweet. Oh, that's exciting. Cool. So I already I already went and I made the Steel Squad of Justice um, in the character creator. So um, I'm excited to do this because uh, I... I made them with some of the new customizational stuff, and it, they look cool. I'm excited. Celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. That's right, I remember. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate a benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. What a fucking like. 
basis of arrogant name the elders of arrests of known collaborators advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned perfect door central fucking bradford's a badass man I feel like, you know, if you're going to use holographic gates, like, they should be censored, right? Like, it should go off when somebody, inter like, touches it. Fucking X4 explosive charge. Boosh! Get out of here, nerds! Let's go. Let's get it on. Yeah, so we're running without Iron Man. 90% of the... 90% just because, like, the pressure of doing the game on Iron Man was fucking getting to me last time. That's the reason I had to stop the second series. To be honest, 100%. But, like... Hopefully, by having Iron Man turned off and giving myself the ability to first first. to cheese it a little bit in the event that something goes horribly awry, like, that low wall. maybe that'll make it easier on me. Yeah, I know how to play the game. This is the part I was trying to skip. In position, but I'm exposed here. It's better than nothing, but see if you can't find a safer position further out. It's right here, yeah. Looks like full cover ahead. Moving out. God, I wish I could skip this so badly. <laughs> There's no way for me to skip this. Stay close. Oh, I, like we got the one. we got the cool the the Reaper thing going on, Double so time. we got to see that, which I think is cool. But they're holding position. We're gonna have to go through them. Stay out of sight until we're ready to strike. Copy that. Keep to the shadows until you're absolutely set. We'll only get one shot at this. In the shadows. Cool. We're in concealment. Which means we can move without being spotted. It has been a little while since I've played XCOM, but I feel like I feel like I'm not gonna forget how to play fucking XCOM. <laughs> I've got a couple of campaign. Close. I've got quite a They'll few campaign wins, sure two on camera, advantage. under my belt. They may have the numbers, but we've got surprise on our side. Hopefully, that's enough. Remind me to thank the old man. Torbalak! You and me both. We're not out of the woods yet. We need to take out those remaining soldiers. There's what, four of them? I've Let's throw some grenades at them. Permission to engage. Do it. I mean, really, this is where I would put somebody on Overwatch. But that's fine. I guess we'll go ahead and fire at you. Ba -ba -ba. See, normally I would put her on Overwatch, or I would have thrown a grenade, and then I would have thrown a grenade to open it. Wiped out probably two of them, and then opened it up like that. They can see you now. How about you all shoot first and celebrate later? No problem. That's bad cover. I would go back here. But whatever. Listen to the tutorial. The bravery, but you're dangerously close right now. Be careful. That guy's dead as hell. He also got like genocide a million feet right. backward. Big miss. Not going out, Oh no, we're flanked. 
She's gonna die. Oh no. Oh, that's cool. That's new. She's gone. Damn it. You can't take risks like that. Watch your flanks. So that's how you wanna play it. Okay. I will flank them. Nice work. Smash the advantage before they get around you. Out of here, nerd. Killed Crasher. Let's see how you like this. The club. Ooh. What kind of fucking gun was that? It's Bradford. He's got that whatever that fucking crazy gun. Transmission. We got it. Central reporting in. You're late. What have you been doing down there? Taking in the sights. What the hell are these things? They're us. At least there used to be. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. We've all heard rumors. I just never believed it was true. No one wanted to. But we find what we're looking for today. I promise you that's gonna change. Let's move. I think the interesting thing is that according to the elders, we're like the perfect species. You have an advent right? closing on your position. You heard her. Cover the left side. Yeah, but I don't want to move there. I want to get this loot. Give me the loot. Fire on anything that moves. The main entrance is clear. We need to move on the package. All right, let's come here with Bradford. No? Okay, where does it want me to put Bradford? Over here. Got it. I want to get this loot, though. If it won't let me get this loot, I'm going to be pissed. Venice 3, you're up. Hold up. You should check that body for salvageable gear. We need anything we can get at this point. Ugh. Better move fast. I don't like that. I, this is fine, but it teaches you really bad habits, right? Like, um, fucking... That is the worst way to fucking do that. This is also bad. I'd probably go... Uh, okay, I guess it's not that bad. I thought maybe there'd be full cover by these walls, but there's not. Look out, it's more Advent Troopers. They have a commander with them. Hopefully I kill one of these guys with this Overwatch shot. Now I know we're in the right place. Yeah, that's good. Well done. Fall back to our position. Just go. I'll try to stall him here. What? No, I, we should go inside the building, inside the full cover, right? Like, this is a dumbass plan. Oh, fucking Overwatch. No? Okay. It wants me to take this fucking random ass shot. A stupid plan. Should overwatch here. Probably have gone here instead of over there. I'm going for the door. Ah. The only thing I don't like about tutorials and strategy games is that a lot of the time they don't let you do smart things, right? Because they were never expecting anyone to get this close. Why would you not? That, that's another thing that's like always bugged me. Is it's like. No, no. If we had gotten that concealment, that would have been hype. Good, let's go. Get in there, Central. Secure the package. Let's hope our intel was good. This is the place. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. Looks like there's an access panel attached. If you got me a better look, I might be able to Next time. You know, that might have killed him. You don't know you don't know what that could have done. That could have done a lot of things, dude.
that security grid just lit up. Firebrand is holding nearby for evac, but it's now or never, Central. Understood. We're on the move. So this guy's dead, right? Lieutenant Peter Osai. Peter Osai was killed. No. I'm sorry, rookie Peter Osai. Pressure one is down. You have to get out of there. We need another exit. Now. Got it covered. Throw a frag grenade. Right. There. Thank you. Boop. Fire in the hole. Works for me. Jane Kelly, huh? If I remember correctly, we our Jane Kelly died during our first campaign of this. Almost there. Stay focused. They're right behind us. Look out, Jane. Way too close. This is Gatecrasher. We need an immediate evac. Get us out of here. Throw down the smoke. Press P to place the evac zone. Keep moving. You don't need to tell me twice. Bradford, go there. Calais. Coming home. Fucking evac. Do it. Yeah, we already know what happens. Kelly gets out of there. All that jazz. Everything's fine. Then we come here. We go back to the Sky Ranger and all that. If you're interested in watching the rest of these cutscenes, go watch like the first couple episodes of my first series. Um, There's potentially decades of atrophy to contend with. Wish we had more time. I don't disagree. But as it stands now, we risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure immediately. We are ready. Good. Then let's get on with it. Remarkable. Just like 20 years ago. Cool. There we go. Easy. Then we go to research. Don't remember what this guy's name Impressive, is. Isn't it? Capable of generating immense power. Yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the it's procedure Tigan. you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. Yeah, all right, Tigan. Commander. I will begin researching the advent chip for possible insights as to its function. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. Uh. I hate I'll tutorials, especially a a games. A games that I've played that a lot of. Keep busy I hate it a when while. you start a new one and, and then you do the tutorial. Down to the armory, Commander Jane Kelly was instrumental in the op to get you back. She earned enough experience for a promotion. We should take care of that now. I right, click the button. Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. Rangers are cool. Very useful. From what I remember, there's a good build for rangers that use the sword a whole bunch. It's real good. Never quite as good as the shotgun, but, you know, it's fine. Cool, here we go. Uh, let's remove Jane. Oh, and I can't remove Jane now. So this is our opening squad. As you can see, I've got uh, Bravo 3s here. There's me. I got Tony back in the mix. Commander, each of our soldiers has a unique relationship with their squad mates. As they complete combat missions together, their compatibility will grow and can eventually develop into a lasting bond. Cool. Low compatibility with the entire Steel Squad. Hilarious. Um. 
I want to be able to make to put the whole SEAL squad together, but we'll take Jane Kelly for right now. That's alright. We'll do a second mission during the course of this episode, and then we'll call it quits, I think. Playing some stuff of a little bit of a different variety. I know that this game's, like, popular right now, but I, I've been playing XCOM for a long time on the channel. I like the Advent Power Converter. All right, cool. Let's do it. Let's go. They'll never stop us. Commander, getting a fix on the device, but it looks like it may have been damaged during the fight. Energy readings are going crazy. I'm guessing we don't have much time before it explodes. That's weird. Do you think the Advent guys would, uh... Shen's working on a way to stabilize that thing, provided we can get close enough to access its core. Stay in the shadows until we can get a better read on the situation. This is a different, uh, a different opening mission that I'm used to. I like it. Also a different locale that I'm used to. Alright, let's, uh, let's stick together for right now. And we'll deal with it later. Got it. Got it. Gave myself an Australian accent once again. Not on purpose, I promise. I do not have an Australian accent, I hope. That is, uh... Obvious, I guess. The Commander, we have a chance to do some serious damage here. Before jumping into combat, let's make sure we make the most of our advantage. The Advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Bring Tony up. Overwatch. Closing on target position now. Scanning. That's affirmative. Right, let's come here with me. Scanning. Position confirmed. Why don't you also just overwatch? Let's get closer and move in towards the objective before we start popping off here too hard. Want to get a better lay of the land. Tony should be safe here because Antonio can't see anybody over here. And then Antonio... Should be safe over here, because we can't see anybody over there. I'll move over to here. And then we'll move Jane Kelly behind this full cover over here. In this strange alien plant. Go, go, go! Okay, there we go. Objective sighted. It's been a long time since I've played. Okay. You should be able to hack into that thing's safety protocols and stabilize it. Shen is uploading the fix right now. Let's, uh, move Antonio to here. Blue, always blue move into the unknown. It's an important, an important lesson that, uh, I learned during our first series. Always blue move into the unknown. Moving to designated position. Tony over here, since we can see this whole area back here. Okay, that group's coming back now. I'm trying to, I'm thinking about what's like the best move here. So you can get up like right next to it. We're spotted. 
Probably not my not the best move here. Bulk of the advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them ridiculous. Okay, with that in mind, let's come here. Come back, basically. Is there any way I can hit both of these guys with this grenade? Like that, basically. Worst case scenario, I'll blow up the tree, hopefully. Situation, they can prove highly effective. She's got to run through fire to get to do that. Oops. Um. With that in mind, let's put Tony here. He'll take out that guy, hopefully. Good shot, Tony. Um, everyone's pretty much in full cover. So let's go ahead and put Jane Kelly over here and she'll overwatch just to make sure that that guy doesn't come over here. I don't want him to come closer to us if we can avoid it. This, this thing, like, okay, making big noises here. whenever somebody gets, like, something put onto them. It's, like, a little annoying, but it's kind of cool at the same time, so I'm not going to complain too hard about it. Good misses by the Advent, guys. Alright, Jane, why don't you come here and kill this dude, hopefully. Turns out that was only three damage. Not at all what I was expecting. Um, Tony, why don't you okay. come over here? Hopefully get like a decent shot on... Let's kill this dude. And then we'll put somebody in that position to wipe out the, um, the other dude. I'll come here, and then I'll take care of the other guy, and then Antonio will fix the thing. That's what'll happen. Cool. Easy. Jane Kelly has no longer been marked. <laughs> I really hope not, because otherwise we're going to have to have a conversation here. Uh, Let's just do that one. It's unlikely we'll get it. I just want to disarm this thing. Cool. Stabilize that power converter. The gear is well done. Readings are returning to normal. Well, mostly normal. Firebrand is en route, but I wouldn't take any chances. Eliminate all remaining hostiles in the area before evac. Okay, we can do that. Um, we'll move to here. I'm just, I want to get a visual. Probably should have moved Antonio, to be honest. That's right. Yellow move to here. Just looking for a visual at this point. On but we're doing well. Now. I mean, so far it's been pretty, uh, Scanning. pretty Hitting by the, the book location. here. So, not complaining. Right, we'll put Jane Get Kelly over here. Although they bear some resemblance to the sectoids not great during the invasion their genetic structure now includes human DNA they are stronger than ever with an even greater psionic potential. don't be mind control Get me out panic of here, panic's good like as long as it's not mind control it's fine to be honest good overwatch. Tony earned himself a promotion. Jane Kelly moved and fired. Come on, another good one. Ah, son of a bitch. That's alright. Half cover is not great, and normally I wouldn't be using it, but um, 
It was all we had available at the time. That has changed now, but... Really try to take out that sectoid if we can, but let's just go ahead. We got 58. Let's wait on Antonio's attack then. Let's come over here with me. Literally just said half cover's not great. Immediately moved into more half cover. <laughs> uh, but if we can take the sectoid out, like now, that then we'll just throw a grenade at that guy and wipe out the whole thing. Take him out. Come on, Tony. There he is. All right, we'll just throw a grenade at that guy. Gonna need to reload soon. Shane Kelly's no longer panicked, which is great. Happy to hear it. This guy's dead now. Boom. Easy peasy. Take a mission photo. Can we, uh... <laughs> Get off our planet! Hell yeah, let's take a photo. With a mug like that, you might get Advent to surrender after all. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's that's fun. Left in their wake, XCOM refuses to let go of the ways of the old world. They will continue their wanton and reckless crimes until the entire world burns around them. We are grateful. To the elders for their support in ending this menace once and for all. That's interesting. They've added like propaganda pieces between missions. I like that. that There's a lot of nice changes here. Um, the new maps are nice. That was a different mission type than I think we normally do on the first mission. I'm liking it. I'm guessing Shen will probably want to have a word with you too. Serving as our demo. Hell yeah. Experts, the Grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. Let's fucking go. Image! Yeah, good work. Good work, guys. Operating some of our most advanced equipment, specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be out for combat or field medic duty. Normally I'd like Antonio to be a sniper, but I guess this will be an interesting change of pace. Aid protocol. Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. Worth it. Cool. Cool. Happy about that. It's decent. It's good, Matt. It's a good lineup. It should prove useful in our ongoing efforts against the aliens. When you have a moment, Commander, I have made some interesting discoveries as they relate to me. As it relate to what? Come on, dipshits. Shin asks you guys to do one thing a year, and it's push a, shin, push, a push a thing. Then she gets the spaceship flying. I don't understand why they're not moving. <laughs> Engineering. What up, Shen? Okay. Reworked your repulsor. Right, I can't promise what? any miracles, Commander, but I should be able to put some of the stuff together and work it off. I'd suggest we get started with a med kit. It'll probably come in handy sooner rather than later. Accurate. I'm on it, Commander. Looks like Tygen has made progress on his research. Tygen made progress on his research? It's some sort of neural chip. Much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had no. Ah, Commander. Excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip planted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It it is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip 
bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. All right, I'm on it, Tigan. You bald bastard. New objective added. Examine an Advent the officer's Advent corpse. Officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates okay. to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. Uh, we'll do this. The Advent officers appear to be similar, if not physically the same as the common Advent trooper in terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate Advent force. I do find that choice. area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. All I'll right. send word when a complete report is available. Looks like Shen got that converter up and running, Commander. We're ready for you on the bridge. For most of our soldiers, the living quarters on board the Avenger are a step up from the conditions they've had to live with on the ground. Cool. That is gonna do it for this episode, though. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, we'll be back uh, pretty regularly with uh, more War of the Chosen in the future. So if you guys like what you saw, let me know. Uh, leave a like if you really liked it. Um, it'll let me know that you know I should probably continue the series. And if you guys have any tips, tricks, or things I should watch out for, leave them in the comments down below. But with that, thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!